Good morning, everybody. We are heading towards the sixth stage of this year's Tour de France. It's the 7th of July. Beautiful weather, either in France as well as in Bielefeld. What happened yesterday? Uh, we, we had the first big showdown of the GC riders, but there was another race inside the race, so the fight for the stage. And yeah, yesterday, one of the really nice and good, sympathetic boys won in a in a really awesome way. Greg van Avermaet, one of his biggest successes in the career, was an awesome ride and he also took the yellow jersey in a, in a way that I guess he will be able to wear it at least several days. So, chapeau, well done BMC. Today, the boys don't have to do these kind of incredible long distance transfers. Maybe you don't know that, but yeah, the Tour de France is a Tour de France, and that means the Tour has to touch a lot of different villages and um, big cities. Uh, that means you always have to calculate a lot of time for extra transfers. So you have the stage, 200, 220, two days ago, 250 kilometers, and then the boys have to do 100 kilometers or up to 200 kilometers in the evening after the race or either in the morning uh, bus transfer with the team bus to go to the stage or to go back afterwards the stage towards the hotel. This is uh, incredibly stressful on top and this is also a little bit the background why the Tour de France is this, this, uh, that exhausting. Um, today Giant Alpecin has been very lucky so the hotel has been directly on the start area. The only problem on the other side, the boys built up all the area, environment and location until midnight. So we had to really arrange everything in a new way. All the riders had to move into home, hotel rooms on the other side of the hotel to, to be able to find rest. Otherwise, you, due to the noise, you wouldn't have uh, had the possibility to, f to fall asleep. So, yeah, this was another challenge, another challenge uh, beside the race, and this is a little bit what makes the Tour de France the toughest race on the planet. So, what's up today? Uh, yesterday we had the first mountains, today once again a pretty flat stage. The, the first hills come early, but then you have enough time to regroup, and I guess the sprinter teams will take over. BMC for sure will control the yellow jersey from Greg, but um, yeah, from the middle part, of the stage, the sprinter teams will take over the control and um, try to get the breakaway group back at least uh, five kilometers to go. Um, from my point of view, the distances in the general classification are still um, not big enough to leave away a big group to, to let them go. And there are still so many sprinters keen on winning a stage, from my point of view, the sprinter teams will really control the race today and we will see a big bunch sprint with uh, up to 70 kilometers per hour today again. What does that mean regarding the technical side? So come join me and have a closer look onto our bikes. So Giant offers three different types of bikes out of their current model range. We have the D5 for cobblestone range, we have the very agile TCR winning nearly every test uh, throughout Europe at the moment. I'm lucky I have one, really nice bike. And for today, for races like today, for the speed races, the flat stages, we have the bike called Propel. Uh, furthermore, for sure, it's very important that the guys after the stage know what they did. So thanks to Pioneer and Polar, we are really very happy that uh, we can analyze all data and see what happened, where is uh, still room to improve, and what we have to take care of. A nice bike is for sure the basic to, to ride fast, but thanks to our own cook, we have a great breakfast every day, we have a great recover meal after the stage, and yeah, I would love to have something like that. I like this sort of cake. It tastes beautiful and really nice. It's the lovely stuff, and uh, yeah, it's... Uh, very good for the boys because it's nearly without fat. Yeah, thanks for watching today. 
hopefully nobody crashes. That's always, uh, it's a big family. Everybody needs to ride. Everybody needs to get in some way through these three weeks. And yeah, I've been a rider and I know how, how bad, how awful it is to have wounds. So fingers crossed for the boys. May the best one win. See you tomorrow.